Kia ora, I'm Margaret Breedcorn. I'm the Director of Nursing and Midwifery at Northland DHV. Uh, no hokianga o. I'm from Hokianga and uh, my role in the DHV as the Director of Nursing and Midwifery is that I oversee Nursing and Midwifery practice across Te Tai Kia ora, my name is Cathy Beasley and I'm working as a nurse practitioner at Hokianga Health. I've uh, worked here for the past 12 years now and loving it. I work in the main health centre and I'm also doing outreach work at the same time. So the role of nursing has changed significantly. I've been a registered nurse for the past 25 years and in that time the role of nursing has had to evolve and change um, given the dynamics of the health of the population. The activity that nurses have had to um, change um, have required different roles to be developed, um, skill sets to be refined and the education and the investment in education of nurses has had to change with that as well. You have nurses who are already living in the area and have been working with these clients over time and quite often they actually then have a better idea of the actual client, the management and the whanau who is involved with that person than a, maybe a relieving doctor who's coming in for a short period of time. And Patients, can, they tend to quite like it if they can come and see you and you can manage everything for them. Whereas as a registered nurse, I would more often have to refer to colleagues around ordering tests for them. Whereas now I can do the test, do the bloods and follow up the results and agree with management. And I'm still around when they come back three months, six months later. So the face of nursing has changed significantly as well. And um, so what that means is that we've got to look at how we grow our own. And in Taitukira we've got a number of activities occurring. Um, right from um, the beginning at school in terms of supporting our school age, um, our school age children to actually think about nursing as a career. So we've got some national programs of which one of the, I am a sponsor of, which is the Nga Manukura Ua Pōpō program. And that's a national nursing midwifery workforce development program. Uh, we also have Kia Ora which uh, Northland DHB is really active in. And that's about, again, looking at our um, children and, and um, in schools and supporting them to look at health careers as a career option. So it's that whole workforce pipeline that we've got to actually consider and what do we do in terms of growing our own. Our new graduate nurses, what are we doing with our new graduate nurses? Unfortunately, at this moment in time, we've got a lot of graduates, um, nurses, graduating from our nursing schools across the country. And in Northland, um, it's not different, any different. We need to look at ways and means in which we support our new graduates into employment. So every six months at the moment, we have about 30 new grads that um, are coming out of North Tech and we don't have enough positions to support them in gainful employment. So we're seeking actively um, opportunities in primary care and in aged care in our community environments to actually employ those new graduates. We support nurses to undertake postgraduate study and of course um, contribute to their ongoing development and education. And of course the epitome of that is actually our nurse practitioners and um, achieving that status. But along the way there's that whole continuum of education from the new graduate to postgraduate education to postgraduate certificate, diploma and masters. And there's a lot of national, international research that states that the more qualified our workforce is, the better quality of care that's provided. Okay, so an example of the sort of practice I'm currently doing, this morning I went on a home visit to visit a lady who had recently been discharged from hospital. During that process I was able to see where she was up to, arrange her medications and ensure that she was on the right things at the right time and explain what they were for. As part of that consult I was also asked to see the daughter who in turn I was able to advise around treatment and arrange for a prescription to be made up and dressings for them. Furthermore, onto the mokapuna, I was able to then assess both of them and look at their immunisations and also arrange for treatment of them. So you've got that whole whānau managed in one visit and I think it does build trust for them when they can associate with one person rather than the nurse that was See you, Cathy. Look forward to seeing you again. It was about that relationship building. Mm -hmm.